Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 17th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrodrar.com for more awesome astrologers and readers. But let's see what we have going on for Pisces at this time. Could be a fire sign in your life who is very important to you right now. Yep, definitely. But let's keep going here. Let me see what else we got here. Uh, let's clarify that as well. Yes. Um, Jack of Clubs. So again, there could be a fire sign. You have two. You have the Jack of Clubs and the King of Clubs. So again, these could be people in your life who are important to you, who offer you advice, or who help you out at this time. Also, a big time card of uh, goal setting, setting goals, and uh, you know, kind of like looking into the future to set goals this week, which is nice. You also have the Jack of Spades. You have these two Jacks. A lot of you could be getting to. Um, you could be starting a new beginning that is old. I'm getting so. I, I don't really know what that means. Maybe it's like something that you've always wanted to do, um, but now you're kind of having to start over, uh, which is interesting. Um, so a lot of you could be doing that. And um, yeah, a lot of you could be trying to choose between something as well, choose between people, an idea uh, at this time. And it's really kind of one of those things where I think it's up to you um, what you, you know, what you truly want in your life. It's like you're trying to decide between two things. Um, and again, I don't think there's a right or wrong choice. So uh, that could be leading to some confusion and some problems this week. Um, but, you know, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Spades. I pulled a clarifier card on this, just so you know, um, which we're going to get to in a second. Nine of Spades can represent being stuck in a situation, having dealt with disappointments, and, you know, all of this other stuff. But um, you have the Five of Spades as well. Whenever I see these two cards together, uh, to me, this represents a disappointment being a blessing in disguise. So something not working out and actually in the future realizing how um, you know, that was a blessing to you that it didn't work out because it could have been a disaster or something like that. So again, don't worry about any disappointments. I do feel like for some of you, this is in the past. I think this combination could be coming up now where now you are seeing how, um, this was a blessing like this week. Um, and again, so I think for a lot of you, it could be in the past, um, you know, that this happened. It can also be that you need to take a break and kind of like reassess what is going on. Uh, in your life at this time. Again, you do have the Five of Spades, which blessing in disguise, like I said. But I also think that this can say you need to take some sort of risk. Like maybe you need to let go of something comfortable to, you know, get something new to kind of grow your life. Sometimes I think the Five of Spades does represent that, like needing to let go of something that is providing a lot of safety and security, maybe like a business or a job or something, so that you can get something new that's much better. But it is a card of needy, needing to take that risk. This can also be a card of moving. Uh, in moving to a new home. So if you're moving, this is actually a very good card for doing that. Next, you have the King of Clubs. Um, again, uh, could be dealing with fire sign in your life at this time. Uh, or uh, you could be, again, this can be a card of confusion, not really being sure what to do. Um, but this card asks you to seek out an authority figure, um, somebody who has a lot more wisdom and knowledge than you, uh, so that you can move forward where, wherever you're stuck. Again, this card is very general. You know, it could be your health, it could be your business, your job, your you know, savings account could be, uh, you know, almost anything. So, uh, you know, wherever you're stuck, definitely seek out um, some sort of authority to help you out. Next, you have the Four of Clubs. Four of Clubs is your thoughts stabilizing things, kind of um, evening out for you, figuring things out in a better way, learning how to figure things out in a better way. Um, you know, all, all sorts of things come up with this card. But also a card of not, don't, you know, don't accept things that people say basically at face value. Make sure that uh, what the information that you're getting is true uh, with this card. Next, you have the Ten of Hearts. Very good card, Fortune After Difficulty. So uh, a lot of very positive changes could be coming in this week as well. That's the only thing that makes me think that that Nine of Spades is representing the past is because of this card. Uh, you know, it, it represents positive changes moving forward in, in a very positive direction. So definitely like to see this. Also a great card for uh, socializing, meeting up with people. Networking, as I always say, is highlighted under this card um, because, again, you could get a lot of benefits from, like, joining a network, joining a group of people, um, you know, meeting up with people, going to meetup groups, anything like that. Again, there is a lot of advice for you this week. There is a lot of advice telling you to go seek advice, t telling you to go, you know, seek people. But, again, don't just accept that information. I think it's important that you take that information in, you know, kind of marinate on it and, and, and figure out 
what you believe and what you don't believe at this time. And finally, you have the Three of Hearts. A very good card. Uh, I always say this is an indicator card to me. To me, it just makes the whole reading positive, really. Um, you know, I, I usually don't attach a meaning to this card. I just say that it kind of pushes things to, to a more positive direction and just says that things are kind of um, going to go very well. Also, a card of your emotions stabilizing with the Four of Clubs, the, the combination together. So, um, you know, Pisces, I think is, I mean, I think Pisces has been, you know, going through this anyway, but I think Pisces is just getting better at stabilizing their emotions, you know, uh, stabilizing how they feel about, you know, things that happen on a daily basis. So, uh, it's just that simple, but it looks like a good week. Like I said, um, you know, maybe some disappointments, but I, you know, I feel like that's in the past for pretty much everybody, um, really. And, uh, yeah, a lot of support too. So make sure to go out and meet with friends and things like that.